any substance is occupying some volume it is called as density okay now here both the uh, volumes volumes can be same sometimes and volumes also can change now depending upon the volume density is divided into two types some objects will float and some objects will sink because the volume of the object may be heavy or light now when we talk about floating objects now if i take a small piece of say thermocol and put it on the top of a water what will happen to the thermocol it will float does it sink children no so such are called the floating objects now sinking now if i take a piece of wood and put it into the water what will happen the wood will go down that is called sink because the volume of the wood is heavy than the water that is why the density of wood is more than the water that is why it will the wood will sink whereas the density of thermocol is less when compared to water that is why the thermocol will float so density becomes a one of the property of the materials now the next one is transparency the last one is transparency so how are the materials being divided as transparency through transparency transparency it is nothing but the way how we view the way how we look at the object now this transparency is again divided into three types we have transparent object we have translucent object and we have opaque object okay so whenever a light is passing through an object okay if suppose if i throw a beam of light uh, if I, if light is passing through say a thin sheet of paper so what will happen does the light enter children if it is passing through the object it is called as a transparent object okay so light is passing and you are able to see what is what is present on the other side that we call it as transparent now what do you mean by translucent translucent is only if i pass a ray of light okay and i can see only part of the light coming out that is called as translucent okay now opaque opaque is if i pass a light but the light doesn't come out that is called as opaque objects okay now example for opaque objects is suppose if i if i switch on the light in this room okay now this room is covered with wooden uh, with walls okay or cardboard wooden cardboard sheets now if i go outside can i see the light which is being present in this room on the other side no because this the wall will not allow the light to pass through it so this wall becomes the opaque object it will not allow the light if it allows the light the material which will allow the light only to a little it is called translucent okay if the light is being allowed completely through the material it is called transparent material right so have you understood this children the different ways in which the materials are divided right so there are few activities which you can go through the lesson where you would be clear about it right so by this we have completed the chapter sorting materials into different groups thank you children